more work. many weeks and many months so they don't appear here overnight it takes really long time for them to grow and then they, they can be like up to two meters Original wall of the lava cube. This is how all the walls looked like when the eruption stopped and when the tunnel was like empty when the lava was draining out. So you can see like this is the original lining. And what we have on the surface of the wall is like shiny smooth material. This is volcanic glass. Maybe you've heard about dragon glass if you were watching Game of Thrones. You have to rely on your lens. We have this long tour that you like it's for five hours. So we went here to this platform. You can get in like in five minutes if you walk quickly, but to the end you need at least two hours. And how long does it? Yeah, for about like one kilometer.
was it? Go on. Jo, jo, kom.
funny names. Uh, they are called Aa and Pahoy Hoy, which is not Icelandic, but from Hawaii. The one you're going to see here today, this is the one called Pahoy Hoy, which is a very bright, very orange in color, but most importantly, this is the most liquid type of lava flow, and that makes it possible for us to pour it down the slide we have built here. The and here, may I point out, in the slide, this sand you see here is actually what we're melting right now. This sand is lava called basalt lava, the most common lava in the world actually. And we don't have to go very far for this. We drive 10 minutes east of Vik into the flood plains from Katla's eruptions because then we know that the lava we're melting is exactly the same lava that erupted from Katla 105 years ago. That's what we are remelting for you guys here today. So yeah, what do you think guys? Are you ready to see this? And the first lava formation I'm going to show you is this one. These are called Helles hairs, very thin strings of lava, which are usually formed in nature when lava falls over edges or gets pulled and stretched by strong winds. These are very difficult to find because they're so fragile. These strings are made of volcanic glass, so they tend to break apart very quickly. In Icelandic, we call these formations Nordnahaur, which translates to witches hair. And you can see also that the lava is inflating and bubbling a little bit here. This is actually the steam from the ice, which is pushing inside the lava and inflating it. So this is kind of the same thing, just using steam instead of gas. And you see how the lava changes very quickly. As soon as we touch it with the ice, it turns into this beautiful black, shiny, volcanic glass. So now this is completely solid. And if we go a little higher, this channel is now strong enough, we can go underneath it and lift up the lava. And you can see it's actually holding together. But inside the channel, it's still liquid. So as we lift it up, we will see some of this liquid starting to spill underneath here. Almost like lava cheese. Very stringy and elastic. <laughs> so it was 1100 degrees when it came into the room. Now here on the surface where we put the ice, it's already down to 560 degrees Celsius. So it has released a lot of heat. However, let's also take a little temperature check inside the lava. So I'm going to try to open this one here. And inside there, it is still 980 degrees Celsius. Anything? <laughs> <laughs> 